that is it. That is it. Full time. And Nigeria have lost. Unbelievable. Ben with the win. 2 1. Uh, two goals from Benin, uh, Dosu and Mooney. And, but you know what? Ondieka took the lead for Nigeria, but it wasn't to be for Nigeria. Nigeria have struggled all game long. They could have they could have played this match for another 90 minutes and they wouldn't score. They've been struggling. They've been struggling in these qualifiers. And yet again, they lose this game. Two days ago, they've drawn at home against South Africa. But now this is a huge upset. And it's a massive, massive three points for Bennett. Look, I'm going to quickly show you guys what the table looks like right now. It's just really, really bad. It's looking really, really bad now for Nigeria. Look at that. Bennett will be up top with this win. Seven points. Uh, Lesotho will be second. Rwanda third. Uh, South Africa fourth. And Nigeria will stay fifth. And imagine if Zimbabwe actually win their game. They could go above Nigeria. And Nigeria could be sitting at the bottom of the qualifiers for the world cup 2026 and who has predicted that nobody not even me i did not see this coming i seriously did not see this coming but look huge win massive 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 win here for bennett and next game next game for nigeria is going to be against rwanda that game is going to be march 17 they're going to play that match away from home maybe just maybe they would have uh, awesome back for that game. If they have awesome back, they might have a chance. Look when today he huffed and puffed. Couldn't really do any sort of damage against this Bennett defense who who stirred, I mean, who stayed firmly. The whole 90 minutes, just they have not given up anything. They have not given up anything in this game. And I think Nigeria is in big trouble. I have to be honest, they are in big, big trouble. I don't see how. Like, I seriously don't know how they can win this group now. They're behind by a lot of points. Yes, there's plenty of games to overcome that. There's, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six games left in these qualifiers. And the first place, of course, guarantees qualifying straight. The second team will play a playoff. Uh, to finish second, potentially now they could finish second, but I don't see them finishing up top. But they could definitely finish second. Uh, but they need to be flawless. They need to win all their games. They can't wait. They can't wait for Osman to return because without Osman, this team just looks toothless to be honest with you. They can't, they, they don't seem to be um, effective up front. Like the front line, Mofi, Lukman, Jukweze today, they haven't really done much. It will be, has been taken off in the second half because he couldn't create anything from that number 10 position that he was playing in this game. So it's a lot of issues in this Nigerian team, but you would still back them to qualify, right? You would still back them to qualify, but it's going to be tricky. It is going to be tricky. They need uh, their star players to return. They need their star players to, re to return and maybe just maybe they can make it. But in this game today, they've been awful and Bennett 100%, 100% deserves to win this game. They deserve to win this game and they're putting themselves in the conversation, Ben. They're putting themselves in the conversation in terms of qualifying for the next round. And look, I've shown you the table right here. I've shown you the table as things stands. Ben is up top. Who actually expected that? Who actually expected that? Nobody. And so the Soto also, they've been flawless. They, uh, they, they've won two games. I mean, they've won. They've drawn two games of one one game. They they were actually up top, so they do have one game remaining. They win that match. It puts them in the eight point positions. I mean eight points and puts them up top. So we'll see. We'll see. Do not forget about South Africa as well. South Africa also in the conversation. But as for Nigeria, they are in big, big danger from missing out in the World Cup 2026. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure you smash a like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. That is it, people. I'm out. Peace.